Hello and welcome to Gavazzi Online Solutions, your online information source for Carlo Gavazzi products. Carlo Gavazzi's Triple Shield capacitive sensors have become the standard level sensor in plastics and agricultural industries due to their superior protection from static discharge, line transients, and airborne noise. Hi, I'm Dominic Capobianco, and in this segment I will demonstrate the proper procedure to set up our new Teach Mode capacitive sensors. To set up our teach mode capacitive sensors, there are three parameters to consider. There's the background, there's a target, and which output state we would like. Teach mode can be initiated by pressing the button on the side of the sensor, or by connecting the white wire of the sensor to the negative terminal of the power supply. Step one is for the background level, or container empty condition. With the container empty, we will press the button for three seconds, or connect the teach wire until the LEDs are flashing at a rate of once per second. We will release the button, wait three seconds, and now the background is set. Step two is for the object or material present condition. We will fill the container up to the level of the sensor. Press the button or connect the teach wire for about six seconds. We will notice that the LEDs will flash twice a second. We will then release the button or the teach wire, wait three seconds, and now the level is set. Now for our final step. Step three is for selecting between normally open or normally closed operation. Press the button or connect the teach wire for nine seconds until the LEDs are flashing at a rate of three times per second. We will then release the button or the teach wire, and now we've toggled between a normally open or normally closed operation. Now that we've completed all three steps, let's see the sensor in action. Thank you for joining us on this installment of Gavazzi Online Solutions. Should you require more information on our triple shield capacitive sensors, just click on the link below. If you have any questions or comments, please direct them to comments at carlogavazzi.com.